These cookies are actually pretty good. They're like Fig Newton things. Anyway, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Mega Man Zero. We are gearing up on Endgame here, my friends. So now, let us begin. First thing I'm going to do is put that back on. I've got it up to um, full. And now I'm going to um, use this. And now we have a sub-tank. Okay. Let us begin. Now, the concept behind sub-tanks is if you're full on health and you get another um, energy item, it goes into the sub-tank so you can use it for later. In a game as difficult as this, sometimes you just don't uh, get to keep uh, spare energy around. Man, I wish I could duck. I don't know why they call it ducking. I'm just getting my ass handed to me here. One does not simply get extra energy. Oh, no way, it disappears. Whoa, what the f... Oh, yeah. There's a big boom outside of my house, and I'm like, wait a minute, I live... in a place where they test bombs. Well, next to a place where they test bombs. Now, this area is annoying as fuck, but... It's the, damn it! It's the, is the Neo Arcadia Tower, so... We are gearing up on it. Like, this is pretty much endgame. Yeah. Yeah, science. Nah, science. Don't hit me, bastard. Fuff! Okay. Takes... Okay, well, that was stupid. I was hoping to. I think it. I think that might fully fill up a sub tank, but I'm not totally sure when I wanted to test it out. But I don't get to. Well, anyway, with all that energy crystal grinding I did, I did manage to use one of the cyber elves to give me a sub tank. Now, after we've gotten past this part, I think that's the only really... Fuck! Fine, you know what? Never mind. Boom, 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 boom! Okay. You're too big to be a slug. Just get lost. So, welcome to... Now, every... Me I'm not sure if every Mega Man game has one, but this is called a, a Devil. A slime-type enemy that has a single point and uses its body as its weapon. I don't remember its weakness, but I think it may be electricity, actually. Or, if it even has a weakness.
When it's just bouncing around, it's probably best to just try to avoid it. I go, damn it. When it splits into two halves like that, you can actually stay at the top like this pretty easily. Because with each bit it gets, it jumps less and less high. So just kind of stick on the bottom here and just hope you don't get hit. Yeah, the whole devil subtype of enemy is a well, type of boss is pretty recurring in the Mega Man series, starting with the yellow devil in Mega Man 1. I can't see why they call them devils, though. They're monstrous. Kind of like a nightmare from Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion was a really good game. I might do that one. After, well, after Super Metroid, uh, Big Dog and I are doing Metroid Prime. I thought that'll be interesting. Metroid Prime is, in my opinion, it's the greatest Metroid game. Like, my favorites are Metroid Prime, Metroid Fusion, Metroid 2, and probably Other M. I don't care what people had to say about Other M, it was great. It's just different. Well, we've already covered this in Episode 1 of Super Metroid. I'm not going to get back into that. Mission complete. And get a Cyber Elf. <gasps> CL. <gasps> no! <laughs> we already knew that one. Alright, so now we're up to full, so now we're going into the final area of the game. Aw, thanks, CL. Means a lot to me, dog. Alright. Now, other areas of the game were hard. This one is... the hardest. Every Mega Man game, to my knowledge, has a boss rush mode at the very end. Unfortunately, this game is no exception. Every boss that we fought will be making their return in this episode. I still can't believe you defeated me. It's such a disgrace. I must redeem myself by terminating you. Get ready! So now we're fighting Herculeus and Herculeus and Cordis again. Now, every boss still retains their uh, weakness from the first time you fought them. So you don't gotta worry about them pulling uh, new tricks out of their sleeves. Oh, I almost got perfect there. There we go. He's down. Mm. Now after every boss you beat, you get a little more you get a little energy back. I fully analyzed all of your strategies. Let me show you what I have learned. Still weak to electricity. Now this stupid attack. Well, I don't get the whole point of this attack. When do elephants do this in the real world?
No creature in the world does something like that. Cut them in half. As you can see, they're just like little robots. And we couldn't heal all the way. If I'm not mistaken, this one's a uh, Blizzrak Stagroff, so. What a stupid name. Well, no, it's. Anubis, but. That's cool. Still got the same weaknesses as he did back then. Now that we're stronger, this should be even easier. Oh, he's just using this attack more. Simple as that, really. He's got to be the easiest boss in the game. Besides the Aztec Falcon. By the way, Aztec Falcon will not appear in this little boss rush mode. Yay, and now we have a... Oh, we actually had a lot of energy in this sub-tank. Or maybe it's different than it is in Zero Two. So, now we're going into, uh... Blizzrak Stegroff. Hmm, outdated Reploid garbage. You should have remained in your place of rest. My Blizzard, you regret not staying there. Mm-hmm. Time to go back to sleep. Ooh. <laughs> God, he sounds constant. Fuck! So are you gonna do hop around and grunt like you've got something wrong with you mentally? Well, geez, that was much easier than the first time we fought him. Yeah, now we get a... No, it isn't different. Well, anyway, there we go, that's pretty cool. Maybe we did get that big energy thing I wanted to collect earlier. No, no, you know what it probably is, it's those other... Ah, screw it, I don't care anymore. Well, that sucks, but it doesn't matter. Well, it may be kind of hard. Try not to take too many hits here. Ooh, yay. We filled up one of the energy tanks. Now, uh, in this game, there are... two energy tanks. And only two. I hope you can't hear me eating this cookie. I can't resist. It's so delicious. Okay, now in this room, we're going to be fighting the four guardians. I think this one's phantom. Damn it! Give light to the people. Give death to the mavericks. No one shall disgrace Master X. Your termination will now commence. And then we get to fight... Our good buddy Phantom again. Well, I got my ass kicked there and I didn't get to save a state. I, was, I thought I was actually doing pretty well there. <sighs> Let's try him again. I can't 
believe I actually got that shot in on him. Oh, didn't get him that time. Damn it. Could have swore I heard him going into never gonna give you up there. Caught it up! Never gonna... Yeah, you see, that sounded kind of like it again. Okay, well, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Damn. Okay, well, now we're back into this again. Damn. the utmost concentration, young master. And he's over there. And he's gonna make his move earlier than I thought. Damn, I did not mean to do that. Okay, that was almost cool. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, that was just stupid on my part. I'm sorry, guys. By the way, when Phantom dies this time, he's not going to go without a fight. Those explosions hurt, hit you, they hurt you. So try to get him more towards the uh, edge of the arena if possible. So, uh, it doesn't hit you. Okay, now we're fighting Hurt Fuya again. If I'm not mistaken, he still suffers from the same critical design flaw as the last time. The farther you, you are from, the farther away you are from each one, the more your jump can kind of arc, so you don't have to worry about it, it hitting you. Simple. But yeah, Phantom actually killed himself, so we're never going to see him again. We'll see everyone else in the sequels, but not him. Well, I've heard things about Phantom in Zero Three. Can't say for sure though, I never played Zero Three. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Because she keeps rushing into me. Damn her. I know I've got a sex my sexy reploid body, but it doesn't mean you can just keep running into me, honey. Got her. <laughs> I'll be right back. 
And we are back. So now let's go into Fafnir. He's the only one left. <laughs> Welcome, Zero! I've been expecting you! And now we're fighting Fafnir again. He was just as simple as he was before, but you know, getting hit can still be pretty bad. No matter how simple he is, he still hits like a Mack truck. And if he backs you into a corner, you just can't do anything. Oh, what the f- oh, okay. Whoa, okay, that's actually really cool. <laughs> okay, well, damn, he got me there. Okay, maybe Fefnir isn't easy at all. dash against the grain there, either. I refuse it. Boom. Ah, okay. gay. Okay, there we go, got him. No, not yet, but no, why can't I move my leg? So be it, I'll let you live for a little while longer. Farewell. Oh, don't act so tough, Fafnir. I had you on the ropes the whole time. Right, and there we go. Now we've defeated all the uh, bosses and such. So now we can start going to the final area. By the way, I have this recorded. Like, pre-recorded, you know. <laughs> At the time of uploading this and the finale, whenever I upload the finale, uh, epi the latest episode online on YouTube is episode 3. So I got a lot, and I've done this all, I've done episodes four through whatever, epi whatever episode the finale is on, it's probably going to be nine, in one day of recording. That's dedication, son. There are no cyber elves to, well, there might be cyber elves to collect here, I can't say for sure. <sighs> when you pass through this door... Stop! I won't allow you to proceed anymore! Give up! 